I thought I'd make a quick update to show you what I'm doing, um, what I've done with the 920, uh, maybe a few benchmarks. Um, first of all, I'm running the i7 920. Um, some might know I've got the 940 as well, but I'm actually going to keep the 920 because um, it's performing better. Um, I'm running the Gigabyte EX58 Extreme motherboard at the moment as well. Um, I preferred that over the um, Asus Rampage 2 Extreme. Um, currently, two be SLI, as one of my cards is away for RMA, and I'll be getting the 295s on the 9th, 8th or 9th of January. Um, but anyway, back to the video. I thought I would first show you the voltage I'm using. Um, currently it's flicking between 1.5 and 1.48. <coughs> the processor core speed is 4.3 gigahertz, and the base clock 205. Um, QPI link speed is currently 7.38 which is way over the 4.8 giga transfer so anyone worried about the, it having a limiting factor um, as the 965 has 6.4 then don't really worry about it, I mean this is up to 7.38 having no problems um, I'll show you the memory I'm running the Dominator 1866 currently running at 2050 MHz 999241T Northbridge Uncore Frequency uh, 4100 MHz makes it triple channel memory and now I'm going to show you <coughs> some Sistoff Sandra stuff the memory bandwidth test I mean the difference between the others is like horrendous. Um, previously on my 790 my max score was 12,000 and now on this I'm scoring 31,377 and the float memory bandwidth score is 31,333 megabytes a second and that is just ridiculous the difference between that and the previous generations um, let's pull this one in. This is the memory lancer. Again, comes off top. Um, uh, 51 NS nanoseconds maybe, and the speed factor of 47, which is again the best. And then the cache and memory bandwidth. 93,346 and the the second best is the 9650 at looks at around 46,000 so it's about double in fact it's over yeah over double so and um, that's good um, speed factor of 21.5 the smaller the better the next best is the AMD Phenom 9750. Uh, I assume that's because it's also got the mem controller on the chip. Um, right now I'm going to close this down and I'm going to run a Far Cry 2 benchmark. Game settings: 1920 by 1080, anti-aliasing eight times, DirectX 10, every, um, overall quality ultra high. Two-way SLI, don't know if you can see. There we go. It's my system. Right, I'm going to launch the benchmark. So excuse the the weight. Well, 
Just in case you're wondering what voltage I'm using to run at um, the, the memory, the memory voltage I'm using at the minute is um, I think 1.74 or 1.76, quite high, it's over the 165 recommended, but to be honest I'm not too worried about that. As long as you supposedly, as long as you keep the QPI VTT under half a volt, within half a volt of the DRAM voltage, it should be fine. So yeah, I'm not worried. I mean, if any adverse effects, I'm sure I will find out whether it be in a few weeks or six months' time or whatever. We'll see. Okay, Although I probably won't own the chip in six months' time, so it'll be someone else's problem, I expect. Just got kind of shit, I suppose, but. It's got a warranty, so. If there were any problems, it'll go back to Intel and they'd replace it. I mean, the, the frames here, the, the hovering. As you can see. 70, high 70s, 80. And that's about the lowest I've seen it drop now, it's around 73, Check the results. Um, that's to show you there's no funny business. Everything's set as it should be. Um, let's go down to the average results. Okay, average frame rate 81.69, maximum frame rate 115.10. Minimum frame rate, which is really important, 67.07. Again, I'll show you, it is only two way SLI, not three way running that. Um, I'd love to see it with my third card in there run it. I'm sure the score would be even more impressive. Um, but as I said earlier, um, I think I said, yeah, um, the benchmark at the settings that I've seen from the 4870X2 Crossfire um, they're putting around 66 average and they see it 81.69 very impressed ok I've got the benchmark open um, I'll show you first of all 1920 by 10 very high setting DirectX 10 this is only the demo, the full game probably has been optimised a little more for patches, so it might run better. And um, just to give you an idea. I mean, I'm so impressed with the i7 chip, especially with SLI. It really has just opened the cards up performing now how they should I mean one of these chips with tri -Soli is just amazing seriously amazing basically more or less removes the entire bottleneck ok right average of 88 Minimum 42, which is again really important. Minimum frame rate, maximum 194. At the moment, there we go. And 13th, Frank 13th overall in the high preset of 16,667.